Uh, a very warm welcome indeed to this special address on the occasion of Consumers International's 60th anniversary. Um, as you know, 60 years ago, a pioneering group of consumer advocates recognized that we need to work on a global basis for a fair, safe and sustainable marketplace for everyone and make sure that that is based with the consumer voice in mind. Today, 2020, uh, we are proud to represent 200 consumer groups across 100 countries. Uh, that is a very vibrant and wonderful community, and it's been our absolute pleasure to celebrate uh, 60 years of impact with you during the course of this week. And we've loved um, seeing you and hearing your questions and your ideas for the next uh, 60 years and your vision. Our impact and our success has absolutely been due to collaboration and due, due to long-standing trusted relationships and partnerships with organizations. And I am thrilled to welcome one of those here today, um, Deputy Director General Carl Brauner uh, of the World Trade Organization has agreed to join us and share some of his perspectives on the issues we face for the future, the importance of consumer advocacy, and what we can do to strengthen our partnership for the future. He has very graciously agreed um, that he is uh, open to take questions. Uh, so we will see if we can fit a few of those in. And I would ask that you uh, have those ready either in chat uh, or raise your hand. So without further ado, uh, Deputy Director General, uh, may I pass to you with great thanks uh, from Consumers International and the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Elena, and congratulations on your 60th anniversary, six decades of Consumer International. Thank you for inviting me to a special address on that occasion. I am a consumer. I am an international consumer, as we all are. I'm grateful to Consumer International. You have made my life more colorful and you have given me and my fellow citizens guidance to consume with pleasure and a good conscience. You have invited me as a representative of the World Trade Organization. The World Trade Organization and Consumers International are natural partners. We have an excellent working relationship and I have benefited from attending a number of meetings with participation from Consumer International, such as our public forum and the trade dialogue. In our work, we meet at the marketplace. The WTO is tasked with facilitating trade. We help producers to bring their products onto the market by removing impediments to market access. We thus contribute to increasing consumers' choices. Liberating trade helps to enlarge the offer in volume and variety. It puts vendors in competition with one another and thereby strengthens the consumer not only with a wider choice, but also with a greater purchasing power. Prices drop thanks to competition. Access to the market by competing producers creates the necessity to distinguish products not only by price, but also by design and quality, all to the benefit of the consumer. Equally, producers profit from the removal of impediments to the market of the world. Open markets have provided opportunities for millions of people across the world to join global value chains and work themselves out of dire poverty. This has helped them to become consumers themselves of products that were hitherto out of their reach. The WTO thus does not only contribute to enlarging the offer on the marketplace, 
but it also helps to create new consumers. Consumers International and the WTO meet at the marketplace because Consumer International has a decisive role in influencing the dynamics on the marketplace. The marketplace is the venue for the exchange of goods and services, for pleasant encounters, for the creation of win-win situations, but also for the pickpockets and other dubious ventures. Consumers International is instrumental in developing of in the development of consumer protection over the last 60 years. This is one aspect of its commendable work. It has helped to give consumers a voice and recalibrate the power balance between overwhelmingly strong multinationals and single individuals. Consumer International has influenced domestic legislation in many countries in favor of consumers. This important work has now been complemented by Consumer International developing into a civil society force with impact on the global order. Just as the WTO is not simply about free trade, but rather about rules guided trade, it is a misunderstanding to believe that the WTO is about organizing free trade that allows the buccaneers of the world market to do as they please with no customs tariffs in their way. The WTO aims at creating a level playing field. It is about generating opportunities and giving producers and traders a fair chance to present their products to consumers everywhere in the world. That is the achievement of the multilateral trading system. It provides the legal framework that gives producers certainty to get market access on predictable conditions and free of discrimination. It supports an element of fairness Likewise, likewise, the global impact of Consumer International is characterized by a value-driven approach. You advocate safety, fairness, and sustainability. Here again, we are partners. At the very outset of the founding documents, the members of the WTO vow to preserve the environment, engage in sustainable development, and help to raise standards of living. Article 20 of the GUT gives all WTO members sufficient policy space to design and implement national policies to protect human, animal, or plant life and health, to conserve natural resources, to preserve cultural heritage, and protect public morals. These are general exceptions that allow members to bring their political convictions and societal values to bearing in line with their WTO obligations. So here, we have a common approach. Consumer International has developed a strong focus on preserving the environment. You help consumers to make choices that prevent the pollution of the planet. Sustainability of production and consumption has become an important criterion for consumers' choices thanks to campaigns run by Consumer International. In the WTO, we work for the preservation of the fish stock in the oceans. You have directed the public's attention on the heavy plastic load in the ocean. Our efforts go hand in hand. You have devoted a lot of attention to the question of recyclability and given consumers some guidance. Consumers' choices help to preserve the environment. 
They want to know what impact the production of their consumables has on the environment. Producers and vendors can no longer simply rely on the competitiveness of their quality and price. They have to take on board the values of the consumers. This has been made possible by Consumer International giving consumers a voice. Consumers' choices are also influenced by concerns about the working conditions of some laborers, including children, in the production chain. I speak to you from Geneva. When I leave my house in the morning, I look into the dark, sad eyes of a little girl that complains about the multinational company at her village that has spoiled her drinking water in the course of some mining activities. The girl is shown on a poster used by a campaign that prepares in a typical Swiss fashion for a vote on the responsibility of multinational campaigns, multinational companies. The campaign has the headline, multinationals accept responsibility. The propagators are consumers that want to assure that the generally accepted values of the society are not ignored by big business interests. You have placed your next generation leaders in the challenging environment of preserving the future of the challenge. So from being an agent that gives redress to the grievances of individual consumers, you have in addition accepted the role of being a voice for the preservation of the global environment. At the same time, you have taken on board innov innovative developments and helped to maximize opportunities of the digital society. This goes hand in hand with an initiative by some 90 members of the WTO to create rules for e-commerce. At 60, Consumer International is young, modern and more relevant than ever. I congratulate you on your anniversary and offer you our long lasting cooperation for achieving fairness, safety and sustainability for all market participants. Thank you very much.